Hey horse lovers, welcome back to Free Spirit Equestrian. So in today's video, I'm gonna give you an update on Ariel and Esmeralda. Of course, Belle will be in there too. And you can kind of see what their day in and day out has been like. Okay, so we're gonna head out to the pasture now. They have been doing so well. Ariel has totally settled in. She's coming out of her shell, which you're gonna see, so to speak. And Ezzy just loves her, absolutely loves her. Belle is totally cool with her. I'm just happy to see everything come together. Also, real quick, since it's out, look at the Corvette. Oh, isn't she beautiful? Love this car. I bought this car for Kyle because he is a huge car guy. And he just does so much for me that I wanted to do something special for him. So we got the Corvette in the spring and we've taken it out a few times, took it to a couple car shows. It's been fun. I love it. I think it just looks cool. Also, I'm sorry it's windy, so it might be a little uh, noisy when I'm talking. Hey girls. Hi babies, how are you? Mama Belle. Hey, Ezzy. Ariel, just stuff in your face. Okay, so let's take a look back on what the girls have been doing over the last few days. Esmeralda and Ariel are truly becoming the best of friends and Ariel is really starting to open up and express herself more, truly coming out of her shell and it makes my heart so happy. Ezzy is helping her along every step of the way and I noticed that Ariel is starting to explore her surroundings more. She's now checking everything out and becoming more curious and I think over time, she'll really begin to open up even more. It's been quite a journey for this little full Ariel, and it's gonna be quite a journey to see what ends up happening in the future. But again, Ezzy is just so vibrant and wild because she's just never had to experience really anything negative. So she is the wild friend, and Ariel is more of the laid back one. Miss Bell is also doing very well with Ariel being present. Of course, once in a while, she'll kind of cut her off from Ezzy, just extremely normal horse herd behavior, but they'll eat next to each other, hang out, sunbathe, and I just think it's so beautiful to see. They are all three absolutely gorgeous, and I know I'm a little biased, but I truly think they're all such beautiful souls. And Ariel's red hair is just so vibrant. She's a beautiful bay roan. I cannot wait to see her and Azzy when they're grown up. They're gonna be spectacular. Look at all the geldings huddled together watching them. <laughs> they are so cute. girls you're so happy you have a friend you're so happy 
Yes. Such a good girl. Watching Ezzie and Ariel run around together was truly magical. It brought tears to my eyes, especially when they were moving in unison. And I'm glad that Ariel's now walking around, trotting, playing, goofing off a little bit. Those are all really great signs that she's adjusting. I'm so happy that I got Ariel. I just can't imagine not having her here at the farm. And I'm so excited that I could give her a place to grow up. Good girl. Good girl. And some grass. You're such a good girl. You're such a good girl. Every day I like to spend a little bit of time with all of the horses and I'll come in here with Ariel, Esmeralda and Belle and just kind of hang out and relax and just spend time with them. And then sometimes we'll work on some handling skills. Other times I'm just petting them and relaxing and just chilling with them in their environment. Good girl. You're so much happier. You're so much happier. Ariel is older than Ezzie, so Ariel's birthday was May 1st and Ezzie's was June 16th. So they're exactly a month and a half apart and they're both draft crosses. So for those of you who don't know, Ariel is a Brabant Quarter Horse Percheron cross and Esmeralda from the DNA is a Clydesdale Saddlebred Belgian cross. So they're both gonna be drafty girls and that's why I'm just so excited to see how big they end up being. Ezzy will definitely be taller, but I think both of them are gonna be very stout. All in all, it's been pretty chill here with them. They've just been living life, enjoying everything. Nothing crazy has happened. And it's just been pretty peaceful, which is exactly what Ariel needed. You being nice? Jiminy, you just wish you could go in with them, huh? Jiminy got a tiny cut just above his eyelid, so that's why I have this fly mask and leather halter on. So he doesn't get any more dust and debris in it. You guys so good, just chilling. Gaston loves to eat the trees. <laughs> You're silly. You are silly. <laughs> what a goof. You're like the only one tall enough to do that. Ezzy. You so happy your new friend? Yeah, so Belle's totally cool with her now. Ariel just chills. You being much better, mama. Yeah, you're so pretty. Get a good drink. You two just hanging out? You babies just hanging out? You sweet girls. Your silly little face. <laughs> Ariel. Belle's just chilling. You trying to look cute for snacks?
get you some, Ezzy. <laughs> Definitely coming out of your shell. It's not taking too long either. You silly girl. No. Oh, Ezzy. So much better now, huh? I told you, you just had to wait a little bit. Just had to wait a little bit. Good girl. Cuties. Okay, you're gonna feed Belle. You already ate. You guys already ate. Good morning. Hi, Princess Queen Belle. Welcome to the Mud Show. Ezzy. Ariel's little butt over there. You four. Gorgeous. Esmeralda. Mom's gonna get mad at you. Don't try to steal her green. Later that morning, we had a bareback lesson and I decided to ride Mushu in the lesson while I was teaching. And then little Ariel was watching. It was so cute. It is true that horses do learn visually. So I think this is great. Where she's at in the paddock, she can pretty much see everything that's going on around the farm. And that's really going to help her settle in and give her an idea that everything is safe. <laughs> Jiminy, what do you think? No, she's a bay roan. Yeah. She's been pretty, really good with her. It's just, you know, I mean, they're all like that. I mean, even in the normal herd, they want their space. So if you're in her space, especially with the baby, she's gonna let her know, but she's not nasty about it anymore. Oh, look at that. Belle's gonna get mad now, watch. Ezzy. Good girl. Look at you. <laughs> Look at them. Aren't they just absolutely precious? Like, I just can't even stand it. I could, I don't know how I get anything done. I could just stand there and watch them all day long. They are so cute and distracting, but everybody just loves them at the farm and it makes me so happy. I'm sure some of you are gonna ask, where is Bagheera? Well, sometimes she goes out with the geldings and then I'll put her in with Ariel, Belle, and Ezzy too because Bagheera is still doing lessons and of course I ride her and do different things. Oftentimes the students will go out and catch the horses, but I don't really want anybody going in with Belle and Ezzy and Ariel because honestly, it's a safety thing and I'm just super paranoid that they might get out. And considering like Ariel's barely halter broke and I mean they're both foals, it's just not worth it. So I don't really let anybody go in and out of that gate. So if Bagheera is going to do lessons or something or an event, then I put her out with the geldings. That way I don't have to worry about it. <laughs> that makes sense. Oh, it is so windy out. But yeah, as you can see, they've just been doing great, hanging out, doing their thing. 
Ezzy has stayed out of the bail barn, so that's a plus. And despite all the wind and rain, it's actually been decent weather, but we have a big cold front coming. It's gonna be like only a high of 40, 43, 45 next week. So I'm really not looking forward to that, but you know, that's part of living in Michigan when it's almost November. Soon here, I will do a training session with them, like a triple training session with Belle, Esmeralda, and Ariel. So I will get around to doing that and editing and posting that video. So that will be the next video that I post of them. But it truly just makes me so happy that Ariel is here. She can relax, she's safe, she's comfortable. Oh, I did have the vet come out and they looked at Ariel and Esmeralda and she said they both look phenomenal. So that was awesome. She saw them move, just did like basic visual overview exam and everything looks great. So that made me very happy and I just feel good. They're just the best girls and everybody that comes here just loves to see them like my students and they just make everything so fun. There's Bagheera. You know, honestly, I feel like she, <laughs> Jafar. I feel like she kind of likes having a break from the foals. And I mean, Belle's cool, but Belle's also bossy. You're kind of bossy too. Look at how pretty it is with the trees. My goodness. I love it. But yeah, Bagheera honestly doesn't care where she's at. As long as she has food, she's cool. You know, it was getting dry out here and then it just rains a crap ton. And I'm like, can we just <laughs> have like dry weather, please? But as you can see, it's really just wet because this is where they're standing and eating a lot of the time. And it's dry out here. So like, that's not bad. Hello, Ariel. Is this the place to be, girls? Looks like we need more hay soon. Hi. Is this the place to be in the bail barn? Huh? Ariel said, yeah, I just am happy when I can eat. Belle, you just eat so much, so fast. Hi, girl, hi. Get some water, you thirsty? Good girl, good job, drink some water. So smart. Get some water. Back to the bale barn to eat. Hi, baby. Hi, honey. You're such a good girl. I've mainly just been hanging out with her, not really asking much. I did put a halter on her the other day. We worked on some leading, um, but I'm going to groom them up here soon I just want to give her time to adjust and not think that every time I come up to her that it's work so yeah I've just been coming out here petting her I mean yeah of course she's a little standoffish I mean that's pretty normal she's still adjusting to her environment and she doesn't come up to the fence to greet people but I think over time things will change and she'll become even more friendly all of that's pretty normal well you got a big head girl <laughs> so pretty it's like the little clubhouse place to be. Look at them. So cute. Yep, so life's pretty good here for these gals. Belle, you're about to go to boot camp when that baby's weaned, so enjoy. <laughs> I'm just messing around. I mean, she, I just can't wait till she, I mean, obviously it'll make me so sad when Ezzy is weaned and all of that, you know, but it'll be nice because then I can really start getting Belle into shape and training her because I got her in February having no idea she was pregnant and you know I sat on her a couple times so far so that that's pretty much it so it'll be fun to kind of get back into that routine and go from there but all the other horses are doing well too hi Jiminy for those of you who don't know Jiminy is the horse that started it all he's my first horse my heart horse and my forever horse I've had him for over a decade and he is just an amazing Appaloosa. I've done just about everything with him. And then they got their whole pasture. You just hanging out, Arlo? Zazu? So pretty right now with the fall colors. Gorgeous. Sunny and warm today. One of the last warm days, sadly. Hey baby, you're so gorgeous. Look at you. Yeah, we've just been doing our thing here and I've been riding about every day and again working on the store and training and thinking about future plans and you know holidays are coming up and then the lesson program so yeah.
you know, just the normal stuff. If you think that's what I do is normal, but. Oh, I think I'm gonna try to get a new run and shed too. I just haven't decided which company I wanna go through. And if I wanna get two that are like similar size or get one really big one, but I want it to match the barn. And I've had this one for five years. I think we'd move that one out to the pasture and then have two in here. So horse lovers, make sure you like, comment, share, subscribe to the channel, turn on your notifications so you don't miss anything Free Spirit Equestrian or any updates. And I'll see you next time. Bye.